So idea that memory is stored in the brain, uh, the persistent physical changes, goes back to Plato. But the uh, modern formulation of this hypothesis had to wait until the turn of the 20th century when Richard Zeman uh, coined the word engrams for these persistent changes. We have now identified a population of brain cells that hold specific memory. Not only that, we can now engineer these cells with the light so that animals' uh, memories, uh, emotions, and even thoughts can be manipulated. So this is the idea that have existed only in the realm of science fiction until recently. When you encounter episode, a uh, population of a cell deep inside your brain fires, and then this will be followed by change, persistent changes in this cell. You can recall this memory only when external stimuli will reactivate these cells. So these hypotheses have now been proven to be correct by using a technology called optogenetics. The key molecule of the optogenetics is a light-sensitive protein called channel rhodopsin, which is extracted from uh, green algae. Scientists can insert channel rhodopsin into memory cells. Subsequently, scientists can even activate these cells with a blue light, which is delivered deep inside the brain with optic fibers. Now, memory is usually uh, quite reliable. But uh, under certain conditions, humans make incredible false memory. For instance, after arresting John Doe 1, or Timothy McVeigh, in the, for, uh, the, following the Oklahoma City uh, bombing in 1995, which some of you may remember, the testimony based on the false memory caused nationwide manhunt for the second John Doe 2 who never existed. We can implant false memory in the brain of mouse. For that purpose, you uh, let mouse to stay in the blue box and let the mouse form the memory of the blue box. And then you can label these cells with the channel rhodopsin. Subsequently, when mouse uh, receive, the same mouse receive the uh, mild foot shock uh, in the box, red box, which is very different from a blue box. At the same time, the animal is forced to recall the memory of a blue box. Then if you let animal return to blue box, they will be scared. Now, this is the demonstration of formation of blue, uh, false memory because this mouse has never been shocked in the blue box. Depression is a terrible brain disorder which afflicts 350 million people worldwide. Depression is often caused by chronic stress, which precipitates series of negative memories. Now we know now that the negative and the positive memory compete each other in the brain network. Using this principle, we have recently made very exciting discovery. That is to cure uh, depression with optogenetic technology. For this purpose, male mouse form pleasure memory by playing with female mouse. And then uh, subjected to chronic stress treatment and fall into depression. Uh, we could uh, cure the depression of this uh, male mouse by activating uh, the uh, positive memory engram cell with light. Scientists can also cure the memory the problem of a mouse which is in the early stage of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, these mouse can form memory, but cannot retrieve the memory. But we could restore the memory uh, retrieval, re record of this mouse by using optogenetic technology. So optogenetics has demonstrated proof of concept uh, for a variety of diseases uh, and for, for, for possible uh, therapy. The big question is now, can we convert or translate uh, these findings made with uh, animal models into uh, therapy for human patients.